Hello, I hope you've all had a brilliant week so far. Now, before I get cracking on this recipe, I just want to say a little thank you to Squarespace for supporting this video. Squarespace offer a unique online platform to help create websites and even online stores, and you can check them out and take advantage of a unique offer code using the link in the description box below. It's Pancake Day next Tuesday, and I think this might just be a British tradition, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but basically the deal is that every Shrove Tuesday, you get to eat as many pancakes as you want, which is brilliant. Um, but I'm also looking for an excuse to eat cupcakes because cupcake jammer. So I have combined these two treats to create this recipe I'm about to share with you for blueberry pancake cupcakes. These are gonna be a fluffy, zesty, lemony sponge filled with blueberry compote and topped with mascarpone icing and mini blueberry pancakes. And it all starts with the lemon sponge. I'm using my regular all-in-one method for these cupcakes, but I'm switching out the milk for lemon juice and I'm gonna add lemon zest for a bit of extra lemony zing. Um, so into a mixing bowl, put 135 grams of soft unsalted butter. Now sift in 125 grams of self-raising flour, 125 grams of caster sugar, and a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And then shuffle that through, and then straight into the bowl, zest one lemon. And then two large free-range eggs. And then mix that all together, starting on a low speed and increasing it to medium, and then beat it for a minute. Once it's had a minute, add one and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then turn it up and beat it for another 30 seconds. And it's come together to make a really fluffy batter and it smells so amazing. This recipe makes 12 cupcakes and I've already got a 12 hole cupcake tin lined with paper cases. So you just need to evenly distribute that amongst the 12 holes. And then once all your batter's in, you just need to cook that at 170 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes. While your cakes are in the oven, you can get on with making the blueberry compote because this takes a little while to cook down, about 30 or 45 minutes, so you can just have that bubbling away while you get on with all the other things. Into a saucepan, put 300 grams of fresh blueberries minus 12 of your best looking blueberries because we're gonna use those for decoration. And then add three tablespoons of caster sugar, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and two tablespoons of water. Give it a little stir and then bring it to the boil. And once it's reached boiling point, drop the heat down to really low and let it simmer for 30 to 45 minutes, giving it a squash with your spoon every now and then just to squeeze all the juice out. And when it's reached a nice thick consistency, you can take it off the heat. So they should look, your cakes, lovely and golden and they should spring back on the top when they're ready. Now just put those to one side and leave them to cool. Now it's time to make the pancake batter and I like to make this in advance because it does work a lot better if you let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. So put 110 grams of plain flour into a sieve and add two teaspoons of caster sugar, just under a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And then shuffle that through. Now I like to make my pancake batter using a stick blender and a jug um, because it's really quick and easy. But you can just whisk all these ingredients together if you don't have one of those and it'll work out just fine. Um, but get 150 millilitres of whole milk into your jug and add one large free range egg. And then add 15 grams of melted butter which has cooled down a little bit. Then you can go ahead and add your dry ingredients to all of that. And then blend that all together using your stick blender or whisk it with your whisk until it's all smooth. As you can see, it's gone really lump free, so now you can just let that sit for about 20 minutes while you get on with the icing. Now it's time to make the icing, and for this recipe, I'm going to be making a cream cheese icing, but instead of regular cream cheese, I'm using mascarpone, which is much, much creamier and well delicious. So start by putting 75 grams of soft unsalted butter into your mixing bowl, and then add 120 grams of mascarpone, which is at room temperature. And beat those together for a couple of minutes. Now you might find that after beating it for a little while, um, your mascarpone and butter kind of separate and liquids and solids are completely separate, but don't worry, all of that will come together once you start putting the sugar in. So once that's had a minute, add 420 grams of sifted icing sugar and do that in two stages, beating really well after each stage. 
Well, that's ready. So it should look lovely and white and fluffy. And that just needs to be covered until we're ready to use it. Otherwise, it'll go a bit crispy. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for, and that is mini pancake time. And it's very, very cool, but very easy. So what I've done is I've put my pancake batter into a piping bag, and I've snipped the end off. Now, when you do this, you don't want to snip too much off, otherwise it'll just come gushing out, and your mini pancakes will be like massive. So just a tiny bit off the end, and I've got a small frying pan here, and I have also brushed it with a mixture of melted butter and oil, just to loosen it up a little bit. And now, very, very carefully, I'm going to pipe kind of pound coin or quarter-sized dollops onto my frying pan. I've got these on a medium heat, too high and they're just going to burn and cook really quickly, and too low and they'll be really pale and anemic. Um, usually with pancakes, the first round of pancakes are rubbish, so you might have to throw this lot away. Um, but once the pan's kind of got into the flow and all the butter's nice and brown, the pancakes are going to be great. So they take a couple of minutes each side, and when they're starting to bubble on the surface, it's time to flip them. I've got a plate with a bit of kitchen roll here, and when they're ready, I'm just going to put them onto there just to soak up any excess oil. Um, but you want to keep going until you've got 3 times 12, which is 36. Now it's time to put it all together, so the first thing you need to do is to make holes in your cupcake so you can fill it with blueberry compote, and I'm going to be using an apple corer. You can just use anything similar of a similar size that will remove the middle of your cupcake. And now you can fill those holes with your blueberry compote. Um, just put your blueberry compote into a piping bag, and when you cut the hole, remember that this compote is quite lumpy, so it needs to be big enough that your blueberry lumps will come out. And once they're all filled, you can decorate them using your mascarpone icing. I've got mine in a piping bag with a big round nozzle on top for a nice round blob. And they're almost there, they just need the extra special tiny weeny little blueberry pancakes. Take three of your little mini pancakes and then squirt a little bit of blueberry compote in between each one. Grab a blueberry and fix it all together with a cocktail stick. Oh, how cute is that? So just keep going until you've topped all your cupcakes with mini pancakes. Oh, well, that is brilliant. I think you'll all agree that that's a really fun, cute alternative to a regular pancake on pancake day. And if you're in London next Tuesday, then Crumbs and Doilies will have these and loads of other pancake-related flavours in the shop. So if you're in Soho next Tuesday, then come and check us out. Well, thanks so much for watching, and thanks again to Squarespace for supporting this video. If you're, like me, very confused by computers and code, but you want to create a website because maybe you've started your own baking business and you want to showcase your ideas, then go and check Squarespace out. Squarespace makes building websites and online stores and domains really easy with their award-winning designer templates and 24-7 customer service to help you out if you get in a pickle. If you've been thinking about creating your own website, then go and check them out at squarespace.com. There's a free trial, and if you enter the offer code Gemma, then you'll get 10% off your first purchase. Go and make your next move with Squarespace. I'll see you next week. Bye!